you want to go outside? Hey, it's raining. It's raining. We don't want to go outside. Okay. It's raining and he's going to get muddy. This is great. Hey, come inside. It's raining. Get inside. Come on. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Michael, and today we're going to talk about this, the Transtech Beetle, a fully equipped DJI FPV drone that's under 250 grams. And I think I can make the argument that this needs to be in your collection. Here it is, the Transtech Beetle. It is tiny, it's based on the DJI air unit and it is equipped to fit that inside. It's absolutely miniature, just about the size of my hand. You can buy this with or without the DJI air unit. I bought it without the DJI air unit. Let's have a look what comes in the box. It comes in this box and inside you'll get, you'll get stickers, an instruction manual that'll kind of show you how to solder on. Um, if you want to add any additional things on there, it comes with a spare pair of props. It comes with four motor guards. I haven't used these yet. If you're going to do indoor flying and cinder whooping, and it comes with two spare body covers. It comes with a spare set of uh, prop screws to get your props on there. Because unlike normal, um, unlike a normal five inch, these little drones have two screws that screw them on. And obviously the drone comes inside. It has, it has Transtech 1106 4500 kV motors. Very nice actually, um, super quiet and pretty powerful. It will come with varying types of props. I seem to have got the ducted um, gem fan props. I have ordered an uh, alternate set of kind of outdoor prop don't have these duct shavings off the edge of them uh, and those should do you a lot better when you're freestyling. They run on tiny light little lipos so I have 750 uh, milliamp hour 3S batteries from Gening and uh, they've, they've done me very well. These are about 60 grams uh, so super light. The flight time is about six to seven minutes on these uh, which is what I'm getting. I think you could probably get more or less depending on your style of flying. So the drone takes a um, XT30 battery, uh, which looks something like this. So the lead is a lot smaller than your typical five inch battery uh, or five inch drone battery or any bigger battery, but it's got a tiny little XT, XT30 lead. Now I don't actually have any XT30 charging cables. So I ordered these little um, adapters, which will fit into my charger and then will allow me to plug in and then I can charge these with my normal battery charger. So that's very useful. Now what's fantastic about this is it really is just plug and play. So inside here, all you need to do is plug in these little antennas. So the antennas come stock with the drone so that, that these little um, uh, omnidirectional antennas come with the drone. They're pretty rugged and sturdy. I've had a few crashes. Nothing's really broken over here, but I did have to do, I don't know if you can see, I cut a slit in these so that they could slide in easy and I can get them out. So as you can see, they slot in and out very easily. Um, and then these just plug into the back of the air unit. Now, it comes with the connector from the, um, from the FC to the air unit. So you don't need to uh, take out that connector from your other drone. So now if I wanted to go from this back to my Cinewoop, all I need to do is take the zip ties, unclip these zip ties, um, take the air unit out, clip it into the the Cinewoop and then I have a working Cinewoop drone and, and equally if I wanted to come back to this I could do the same thing. Uh, you'll see that the FC has a USB Type-C connector which is fantastic uh, which is the same as what the air unit has. So the air unit and the FC use the same controller. You will, If you have the flight controller you'll have to have USB-C cable so it's not really an issue at all. It comes with a, uh, a sticky battery pad at the bottom it comes with a row of LEDs along the top over here, which you can plug and unplug if you choose. Those plug in the side of the drone over there. So it comes with this protective TPU guard for the camera. It also comes with a TPU antenna mount for the back if you want to add in your own receiver. Great, so now let's talk 
wait. The drone alone with the air unit plugged in, some zip ties, the battery strap. Weighs 148 grams. Add on 750 milliamp hour battery. 200, 215 grams. The prop guards weigh 19 grams. So if we add on the drone on here, or the quad on here, the propeller guards and the motor, still underneath the 250 gram um, limit. Uh, you know, where most of the, the, the laws and everything kick in and, uh, and all the limitations are right. So this is a safe weight. Obviously, any battery that you add onto this, this can take 4S. So if you add on a 4S battery, this is gonna get a bit heavier. Um, but I mean, we've still got 15 grams to play with over here. So if you wanted to, if these were off, and what I intend on doing, it obviously won't carry a GoPro, but at this weight, 215 grams, you can add on an Insta360 Go, and you'll still be, those are 20 grams, and you'll be at 235. So, so this drone alone, without the DJI Air unit, cost me 104 pounds. 104 pounds. If you add on the Air unit, you're looking upwards of kind of 250 pounds, and that will be because the Air unit costs about 150 quid um, on its own. You could add in a Vista unit here if you wanted to, but I would suggest if you have a air unit already in one of your drones, and that drone is, well, that that quad is simple enough to take apart and get the, get the air unit out, this is what you need to get. If you're looking for a second drone that you can fly in most days in, in the comfort of most places that you have around you, this is the one. This is the one you can fly inside with the with the prop guards on. You could fly this outside with the prop guards on if you if you're still learning, um, and you can take the prop guards off and be a little bit more aggressive and fly some freestyle. Here's some footage of me flying freestyle, so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. This drone really does have some pep to it. This right here is a perfect, perfect drone for you to learn to fly very simple freestyle tricks. It's a perfect drone for you to fly in your local park. It's tiny, it's, the batteries are cheap, it's light, um, it won't hurt anybody, it doesn't make any noise. It's a super small, affordable drone that you can fly pretty much anywhere. So there you have it, the Transtech Beetle, a tiny sub 250 gram masterpiece in my opinion. If you enjoy what you see and you want to be part of this little community, please consider subscribing. If not, that's also cool and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye bye.